All right, there we go. Jesus. <laughs> hey, everybody. I hope that everyone is having a lovely day. I think the chat's small for the minute because everyone else is currently in other streams, but I believe that will change momentarily. Uh, the capture keeps breaking for some reason, so if Chrome stops displaying properly again, yell at me. Because I just, I, I dropped into Streamlabs. Usually I read the chat on my phone. I don't, I don't look into the Streamlabs app properly because I don't really need to. And then I'm like, hey, wait, you can literally only see like the top corner. Like you could only see th that, that, that specific tab, like in the top bar. And it happened last week too, like on last, um, on the Saturday stream as well. So I, I don't know what keeps happening. It's so weird. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Your timing was excellent day. Thank you for the raid, Siobhan. Hello, Raiders. Stay true. I hope you all have had a lovely day and a lovely time with Siobhan, who I hope has had a lovely stream and got a lot of work done. A lot of fun, fancy words written down. Uh, woo! So, <laughs> so today, I don't have a concrete plan, mostly because, so, for the past couple that like, streams, I've been working on the, um, how do I even pronounce my own goddamn country's name? He, he cool dust, or hi, he cool dust, if I read it like English, um, which is like a fun, fun? Pirate Republic do daddy ma do dad. And it's basically done. I, I managed to, I made the map. This is, this is progress. I made the map for it. It's probably not finished, but it is a map. Oh, <laughs> you've distracted her too much. Oh no. <laughs> she had to rage you right out of coffee. Oh, the horrors. That is completely understandable. Completely respect it. <laughs> but yeah, so I made the map. Previously I had a little gif that would show the progress of the country in question because I thought that the territorial change was important to show because it changed a lot. Now it's an embedded map and it has a shit ton of layers. So you got like, so like the start, this is, you know, 1AC, you've got 18, 152, 229, 299, 425. So that was fun. And it also marks out where uh, the doodaddy was, the Hiyupualu. So that, that's neat. 
Hey, Tellers! Hello, everybody. I didn't call everyone else out by name, but hello, everybody. <laughs> so there's a map now. I- I- oops, shit. <laughs> Why do we have so many things directly under my desk that I can kick? God damn it. Uh, I was intending to, like, properly, vexillologically describe the flag, and then I gave up. Because... Uh, <laughs> I love vexillology. I don't even know how to describe that one. So I leave that. So I think, other than those little things that I was doing uh, off stream, pretty much the only thing that was left in this article was to just like finish up some bits of the timeline. Mostly, uh, I needed to get the dates fixed because they have, because uh, AC is the wrong date structure for this specific region. Which, so like the thing with Thrasin is that it uses a weird era system and the it's it's fun i like the era system it doesn't make any sense but it's fine don't worry about it uh the issue is that it's not really clear how much time has passed between certain years if they're in different eras which is why for the um the actual progression of time i wrote the dates in the ac format just because that way you can actually do the math because i mean like 18 collision 23 discovery there is no way to tell how long happened between that, unless you know what the uh, calendar is. So I'm like, eh, it's fine. But for the actual timeline entries, they should be in the proper calendar. So I, at some point, I'll finish that. I still didn't name the island. I'm very lazy. Conlanging is hard, and I gave up. But aside from minor cleanup details for key kikul dust, the other major article is <laughs> the official description would be red and black with triangle thingies. Exactly, that's basically it. She's like, it's it's got black, it's got red, it's got triangle. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I figured ah, uh, it's fine. No one needs the the proper vexillological de description of the, the flag. Even though I like writing them, it doesn't matter. It's fine. It does not matter. So aside from the minor cleanups for like he cooled us with like the other little the little doodaddy bits, the only other major article is this one that's like unfinished specifically. Hey Nazel! Hello, welcome. So this is the Xianhe League. Uh, they are a an elven country loosely, very loosely, um, like inspired by like the Iroquois Confederacy or the Haudenosaunee, that's their name, but like based on them. Mostly in the sense that there are specific uh, tribes that like, that come together, which I needed to fix, the oh god. There's formatting involved. Huh. Yeah, let's shut the microphone up. Um, I don't think it's a pale. Wait. I don't think it's a pale. I don't think. Because I, I don't know if I would describe it as a pale. Because, like, the way you would use, like, a pale is if you've got, like, the Canadian flag, where the, the maple leaf... It, the maple leaf is the charge of the Canadian flag, but the white part that it is on is the pale, I believe. Um, the issue with that in this situation is that there is no clear definition as to which color is the background and which is the foreground, because that was the point. <laughs> the point is that it's meant to be kind of blurry. It's, it's, it's a thematic thing about, like, shenanigans. So it's kind of difficult to describe in the proper terminology. So I'm just like, y'all, you, you, it's not that important. <laughs> no one's gonna have to, I don't have to describe this in words. I've got pictures. It's fine. The specific definition and construction of it is not important. The zigzag is a middle bend of its own. But, I mean, yes, it is technically a middle bend of its own, but it is kind of you know, it, is the black the background or is the red the background? Yes. 
<laughs> the answer is yes. So it is whatever. But like, yeah, so this is an article I started, this other one, is an article I started writing in, uh, shit, March? I think March. Yeah, sometime in March. I think this publication date was me hitting a button by accident. So I'm going to say that I was writing it in March. Yeah. So I was like, what is happening? Uh, and I started writing it. It was working decently well on it. And then uh, stopped because I, I don't remember what. Yeah, the off-center scrolling. Yeah, because it... Yeah, it's not easy to describe. It, so it's like, whatever, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> when in doubt, I think the scrolling, the scrolling bit would be described in a manner similar to how the stars on the flag of... I think it's Bosnia-Herzegovina? One of them gets cut off at the bottom in the top. So I'd probably just copy-paste it off that, I think, is how that description would go. But that's... it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Because I've got the main part, which is describing what it means. What does it mean? The layout means something. And the thing means the thing. And the colours. Y'all, the colours. <laughs> Black band on hoist side, red band on fly side, covering the full... the full width? height um the center is taken up by a pail which contains fancy their swivels yes of of yes i think i like, technically i don't know it doesn't really matter yeah the length is this way the length is the long side it's the height oh well, i don't care they can have whatever- okay. I like Buxology. It's length and height. <laughs> it's length and height. No, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, I get- mm, no, because the, the issue with it is that you're- it- When it comes to geometry, <laughs> if the rectangle is flat on a surface, it has length and width. The issue with flags is that because they are hoist, they're like, they're literally hoisted up. They're vertically presented, right? Yeah? Vertically presented? As opposed to being like this? Vertically presented. The, the y-axis is height. Therefore, length and height, right? That makes sense to me. My brain connects. Because like, the pole has height. The pole that it's hoisted on has height. So why would it not- it would have height. <laughs> I would personally use the word height for a flag which is up in the- up on a pole. And I'm describing the flags as though they are up. I guess, I don't know. I'm talking completely out of my bum. I don't know nothing. I haven't done a math class in years. I've forgotten everything. Why is width is dumb? Why is width is dumb? I'm not afraid of that. Yeah, they do, and they're all different, which is why most flags stay around. Yeah, because they're like different proportions. All of my flags are the same proportion, because I like to keep things simple. Because I'm just like, bruh. No. So I think every single one of my flags is 4-3. Uh, I believe. It's kind of tough to tell because, you know, it is 4-3. Because uh, it's 800 by 600. So it's 4-3. Because... Uh, it's way easier that way. And that's what a lot of flags are. There are some that are like 710 or some weird shit. And then there's the flag on Nepal, which is like two triangles. What the hell are you doing? What? How? Or like one of the American state flags is a swallowtail. I'm not going to say which one, but I'm pretty sure it's a southern state. <laughs> Where it's, it's like a triangle, but then it has like a triangle cut out of the end. And it's like... What? You can do that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, alright, listen. Yeah, it doesn't make sense in world, but I'm not... I don't care. Because <laughs> I actually did have a setting. Uh, my previous setting on World Anvil, which, hold on, actually I can pull that up. 
it will it show up it won't will it god oh, damn it it's not gonna show up is it yeah no there it is here we go here we go here it is don't worry about it don't look it up don't think about it but in this setting um some of the flags did have different shapes so i think well it was mostly just one because a bunch of them had the same shape because they were based off a single country and then I think it's this country that had a different size. This one was bigger. It's really difficult to show this on this screen. So I'm like, eh. Yeah, looking for a bit. Hi, coffee coils. Well, welcome and cool to look. Lurking is fun. It's fine. I don't blame you. Yeah. So it should be, it usually showed four, six, it should be five, nine. Uh. Flags is weird. I can't demonstrate the proportions well enough because it doesn't really work like that. But the point is, I'm pretty sure this flag was a different proportion, but it was the only one that was differently proportioned. Literally every other flag was the same proportion. But I had a world building reason for that because they were all like former territories of a single country. So they all used the same proportion as it when they became independent. And I'm like, yeah, it's, it's fine. Meanwhile, uh, Thrasen does not have that excuse as much. Uh, it, well, hold on. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have that excuse. There's no reason for it to do that. To have the same ones. Because the countries that would have unified a bunch of areas were really long ago. Yeah, because, like, national flags didn't become a, a, like, a civilian thing till the 18th century. So, like... One of the countries that had like a huge swath of land uh, was from yonks ago. Yonks. Like, hold on. Where, where's the, the thing? Here we go. Like, this, this bitch? <laughs> they had all this at one point. And like, that would be great for unifying a bunch of proportions in this area. Except that... No, this is from like the the before times. This is from what a thousand years ago. No, like eight hundred. It's been a while, so that didn't do anything. So <laughs> you know, flags, right? So I'm like, it's it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. The 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 assumption, like you could basically just guess that some of them probably are distinct. But the main, the main thing is that the charges remain like roughly the same size relative to the length and width of the flag. And you can kind of do that with different proportion like widths anyway. It's kind of like, yeah, it's, it's fine. You can do it. You can, you can futz around. <laughs> Time to lurk and work. I will. Have fun lurking and working, Danny. Get many things done. I'm gonna, before I do anything else in this article for the Xi'an Hawks, I think I will work on this next. I'm gonna format it because I need to do some formatting. <laughs> it's, it's a, oh boy. Enter. Uh, yep, it'll need to be edited at some point, but at the very least, format it. That's a single sentence? That's a single paragraph? Okay. I didn't realize that was a single paragraph. No, it just looks like it should be two different ones. Oh, God. Oh, it's a big one. But it is... That's a... Oh. Because there's quite a long sentence. Because it involves shenanigans. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's okay. There is a lot of preamble. I mean, it's only two... Well... Yeah, there's a lot of preamble. Oof. Preamble's hard. Because <laughs> it's all important information. But it's also like, no one needs to know this. But also, I want to know this. <laughs> I want to have this information. It's important for shenanigans. Oh god, the sidebar needs to be formatted. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Eh, let's format that bad boy. Get rid of an indent. Disgusting. No indents. There we go. Yeah. National plans running into coat of arms and things and headlong question of what is a nation? Like, actually, though. 
Yeah, what what is a nation? <laughs> Who the fuck knows? I don't. A nation is whatever I decide it to be. In this setting, done. <laughs> the same local work mode, behind me writing. Only in 180 words, night seeing pick up the pace. Right, because you're trying to sort of um sort of practice it like the nano rhymo pace, right? It's like, yeah, I wanna try and get like a something close to the nano pace most days which is a lot of words so i salute you on that that is ooh. <laughs> like i have to write 2000 words for a assignment at some point like a like an actual prose assignment uh, mm -hmm. that's gonna be like two full weeks <laughs> like yeah i could probably write that many words in a night but it's being assessed <laughs> that's two weeks <laughs> Spaced out with every other assignment that I'll be doing. Plus the 300 I have to do before the- oh god, I have to write that. Oh god, I have so many assignments to do. Disgusting. Who the hell wanted that? So... where am I? Why are you in a different spot? Right, okay, because I was going to do something different with that. But I don't think I will. Because I had a change of ideas on how I do something. Yeah. Yeah. I was doing six, 1,600 to 1,800 in two hours and only did 980. Yeah, that's fair. You want to try and sort of keep the rough pace. Because that, that's really helpful for like, you know, staying sort of consistent and getting a lot done. I definitely understand that. It's like the whole idea behind like Duolingo and stuff and oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> My poor score. I say that I've been doing really well lately with that. I'm on the wrong page again. Damn it. Go away. <laughs> that page can go. So that was going to move up here. I had a change of idea. I was going to do something in here. I was going to do the silk crash. I was going to go in here. Because I think that would work better in that. I think. I think that would work better. So basically what's happening is, so, I like to write the little sidebar bits. So like, this is, this part here is technically not important information because it ties into a thing that doesn't really matter. But I think it's fun. So I include it as a fun detail of like, hey, now people are asking questions about how the collision work. How it, how does it work? What the fuck happened? So I was like, that's neat. But usually I include like little side details or like, you know, like a sides of like, hey, this thing, more detail. And so I figured, since I already had an image drawn for one of the elves in this, uh, in this culture, I would put th then some bit about the crash of Xianhol silk during the famine. Put that in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I said just chilling in about two weeks. I, I think there was about a... Ugh. I've got like a 52 day streak for um, studying Scottish Gaelic. And I think for about two weeks, I was doing the bare minimum and then going away. But then um, in the last like week, I think my procrastination just went bing. And I started doing like level five shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is the whole point is that you need to do like all the five levels and then you like complete the skill and then every couple of days it'll break and you have to re-up it. And I was like, maybe I should actually go back and master the original skills, the ones that I started in level one, before continuing with level three. So I went all the way back <laughs> and I've been taking them from level one to level five a day and I'm like, ugh. <laughs> so my points are really high, but I'm like, that's gonna stop happening at some point. That is going to move. <laughs> Give it a week. It'll it'll stop being like that. Or maybe even tomorrow, who knows. Okay, so he's surrendered to 19 growth. And have tried to forget about Instant ever since. Rest in peace, Theodil. You fools. Poor bastards. I like the Ethereal. I did. But they the Empire at the time. They weren't, were they? No, they were the Empire at the time. God damn it. This is why we don't change things. We don't let things change in the settings, otherwise I get confused. 
God damn it. Yep. Oh, she waved goodnight. Aw. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Trying to learn Irish, French, and... Oh, you're learning all, like, the fun Celtic languages. Very nice. I would love to try and, like, learn all of them, but I figured I'll stick to just the one for now since I have the strong... the strongest family connection, like, ancestry to Scotland. So I'm like, oh, learn Scots gay. Like, that'll be fun. And, uh, don't ask me to say anything. <laughs> Do not ask me to say a word. Uh, an empire, a republic, a kingdom, a republic again. So it's a republic now, but it was an empire then. Okay. Got it. I'm sure I thought about this when it happened. When I was writing this article the first time. Yeah, because I think they're a republic currently. Hold on. More just history. It claims to be the thing. It was an empire at the time of the war with Xi'an Hu, but it's not called that anymore. Probably fucking overthrew its royal family at the seventh time of rule. And I think they're a republic now. Absolute legends. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, this is why it's a good thing no one can see my notes, because they're just me screaming for like 10 minutes. Yeah. Irish, Scottish, Welsh, and English. Nice. I think I'm, oh, uh, how'd it work out? Mostly Scottish. Mostly Scottish and English. There is definitely Irish in there somewhere, but I can't trace it well enough because like, the annoying thing about trying to trace ancestry sometimes, like using like the like the births and marriages stuff, is if you have a really common surname, it's impossible. Like you just can't get shit. <laughs> and so the Irish branch in my family, like the branch with the Irish surname, uh, it's a fairly common surname, so it's pretty much impossible to trace. <laughs> like I just can't find anything about them. I'm like, oh. Like, I think I found my grandma's dad. But that's because I knew his name. I, th I think. Don't quote me on that. Do not quote me on that. So I'm like, ah. And then there's a bunch of branches where I'm like, I don't know where in the British Isles they're from. But they're from there. There's possibly a German in there. But I, again, don't quote me on that. Because I couldn't find her. So I don't know who she is. I'm like, who is Hilda Print? Who are you? <laughs> ah! Yeah, and I mean the Gallian just are very cool. I, I'm a big fan. They're all extremely cool and difficult to read, but I am slowly clicking in. Of course, I'm doing Scots Gaelic, which means I see Irish way more frequently, and it's slightly different. And I'm like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it, I can't read that either. <laughs> Can barely read Scottish. Can't read Irish. Ah. Yeah, Liam Tealy, which is a really cool. Yeah. That would be a nightmare to try and research, especially if the um, if the first names are common, you're fresh out. Like I was trying to research, oh, who was trying to research? Like one of the men in my family, whose name is like, what, like Joseph Norman? Norman's on his surname. Uh, so like his first his first name and middle name, like Joseph Norman. Uh, it's impossible, You, I can't find him. I cannot, it's just like, where are you? I d which which one are you? There are like seven of you. There are seven different men with the exact same name. Who are you? <laughs> it's impossible. Uh, it depends. Depends, Bob. It depends on which branch you check. Some of us are convicts. Or at least one of us is convicts. He uh he stole a horse. One of them stole a horse, and so his entire family got brought over. Well, by his entire family, I mean him and his wife uh, got brought over. I think. Wait, no, 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 he married her in here. No, no, so he, he stole a horse, got brought over, married another, married a lady when he got here. That's one branch, another branch came here on the turn of the century, as in like the 1900s, like 1910? No, 1920? Then he came in 1920, he came after World War I. Uh, that's the most recent immigration. So it varies from like the beginning of the 19th century to early 20th century so we've been here for at least a hundred years <laughs> on the whole yeah english doesn't exist the group due to basically yep we're basically a mix of every major group in europe yes <laughs> yes we are because <laughs> there's like there's the original like uh britons then there's like the britons <laughs> and then there's the anglo Sa there's the angles and saxons there's, I think the Yates are in there somewhere. There's the general, like, Viking raids. And I'm just like, what is going on? <laughs> it's a 
French. They here too. Like what? What? But the French via the Scandinavian. I'm a boing. <laughs> Make a poof. Yeah. You done your family tree? Yeah. Utes. Yeah. Yeah. Utes. Them too. Yeah. So trace it back to four hundred. It's all England. Yeah. It's all England. It's all England at some point. It's also really annoying because like. Most of my family is from Victoria, like we came from wherever else to Victoria. Uh, Victoria's system for looking up this stuff sucks. <laughs> it's not great. It's not a great system. Like it functions, but they, 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 they shorten a lot of names and then I don't know what they're talking about. Like, oh God, there was someone who was listed as being born in quote, glow, right? And I'm like, okay. Glow. I assume that means Gloucester. I assume. But is it like Gloucester? Or like Gloucestershire generally? Is it like, like is it the county? Is it the city? What? <laughs> Which part of Gloucester? <laughs> is it even Gloucester? And I, I, I'm pretty sure it is. But I don't know. It's not Glasgow. It is not Glasgow, she's English. She is not Scottish. That specific lady is not Scottish. She is, I'm pretty sure, a POM. Because I have the Scottish family, and that's the other group. Run into walls in the Irish side because rural records suck. Yeah, we need to go there and read the church records. And the Polish side lost many records. Yeah. Yeah, they would have. Mm. I get stuck on the Scottish side because, like, the way the Scottish birth and deaths and marriages system works is that if you look up a kid's birth it doesn't show you their parents names I don't think or there was something up with one of them at some point where it just stops dead where I couldn't go any higher because it wouldn't tell me like who their parents were so I couldn't keep going and I was like damn it because <laughs> they want you to buy it I'm like no <laughs> no <laughs> I'll buy it <laughs> I'm not buying credits let me see the information They've been dead a hundred years, let me in! <laughs> it's all a mess. Oh well. It's all super fun though, like I have charts that I'm making and everything where I'm trying to keep track of it. And they all basically stop dead uh, at the uh, turn of the 19th century because I can't really go any higher than that. And I'm like, damn it! <laughs> Boo! Well not with Victoria anyway, because it didn't exist at the time. Like, I started existing in, like, 1836. I'd have to go back to the New South Wales documents and, ugh. Who wants to do that? Bloody Sydney. Yeah. Yep, Scottish on the other side. You can trace it back to the 5th Earl of Montrose, First Marquis. Nice! That is very nice. I haven't been able to trace to any uh, specific historic figures yet. I'm mostly just kind of like, it. Eh. It's someone. <laughs> Someone's there. <laughs> Like, there's gotta be somebody at some point, right? Like, someone here is related to someone. Like, I don't know, maybe one of my Scottish ancestors married, like, the granddaughter of, like, Robert the Bruce or something. I don't know, dude. Because we were, like, what, well, we were Jacobites? So we were, like, super cool with the Scots at the time. So, like, we probably married one of them, right? <laughs> like, we gotta have a connection somewhere. <laughs> there has to be, right? There can only be so many gaps. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like, the McDonald's overall. Because, like, my surname is not McDonald's. I'm not, like, one of, like, the core McDonald's. But, like, we're in there, so there's gotta be something. <laughs> It'll go from, like, some... Some king of Scotland to the McDonald's to me. It, to my branch of the family to me. It'll go there eventually. It'll go... Oh, shit. <laughs> we were polish sides from both sides of the river in Krakow. This is a problem because at the time, one side of the... Oh no, completely different records. Oh. Oof. Napoleonic records, no thanks. Yeah. Hey Elizabeth, thanks for the follow. Uh, I don't know that much about my family other than one side is really Australian, like second fleet, the other is really English, really Northern. I mean, that's still a decent amount of information. And after, like, if 
after a point, you basically just go into, like, big BDM, and you just start tapping in shit. And you get there eventually, if you know, like, a couple of names. Like, obviously, you can't, like, look at your parents. Sometimes you can look at your grandparents, depending on when they got married. Because of, like, the, the, the gap. Like, I think it's, like, 60 years for marriages. Is it 50? Yeah, so it's, like, 30 for deaths, 60 for marriages, 100 for births. So if you've got any parents who married 60 years, like, grandparents who got married 60 years ago, you got it. <laughs> you can get in there. <laughs> and then look at like births and stuff. You can sort of futz around. I, I luckily knew most of my great grandparents' names, and you can go way up from there. Well, to a point. No, I think we're done with the farmer variant was born. Oh no. I can't be a farmer. We've established that my goal in life is just to like live in the middle of nowhere and paint rocks. I wanna be a farmer. Uh, what was I up to? In the I was distracted. Ah. Yeah, pressing O'Brien in Ireland. Oh no, 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 no. That's not gonna work. Hmm. I think we'll just summarize the last bit, I guess, because I'm gonna go into the sidebar on the Shanghai Silk Crash. So we'll just briefly touch on it in the core of the article, and it's notwithstanding. So it's like, um, the league weathered the it's rainbow plague, isn't it? Damn it. Spell words. I heard the rainbow prey. Weathered the rainbow plague of the era of famine. Did I link the calendar at any point? I did not. Link the calendar, please. Seven discovery. Seven, 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 seven discs, seven discs, seven discs. Seven discs and seven bricks, baby. Here we go. All right. Rather well compared to its closest neighbors. Though the silk market... Would it be a crash? I don't know if it would be counting as a crash. It's not that they had too much supply and the value dropped. It's that they didn't have enough supply at all. <laughs> it's the opposite of a crash in the parlance, right? Like economically? Ah, shit. Yeah, I think Donald. Yeah, 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 Donald, yeah. Yeah, something to that account. It's not that. That's obviously not my name, but yes. That is basically basically how it is. I think there's an I in Isaac. It's um, I-O-S-A-I-G. -I Isaac. But obviously I do not pronounce my name like that. Though at least it makes sense as to why everyone says Isaac. I don't. I say Isaac. But it, it makes sense. And I get it. But also, no. <laughs> no my name. No. Uh, I was looking at economic crash. I'm gonna read some shit. Yeah, it's something to, it's something like that. I've always felt it AI for trying to like full Gaelic it, but maybe, maybe not. Oh, it's just, it's a broad range of many things. Okay, but like what is the actual definition of a crash? I'm looking for like, was the Holland thing a crash? The tulip thing? Does that count as a crash? Shit. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm vaguely basing this on. Uh, tulip crash. Damn it, no. Tulip. 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 Yep, here we go. Okay, so it's like a bubble. But then, no, no, it's not the same thing either. That's the wrong, that's the wrong word for it. No. Because it's... No, I don't think that's a crash though. I think it's just... Shenanigan happen. Mmm. Beans. Mmm. Suffered due to the deaths of the majority. Uh, just go with collapse, yeah. <laughs> it's just collapse. <laughs> Something went wrong. Don't worry about it. Read the sidebar, it'll make sense. <laughs> when I explain in detail that the, the worms died. 
and the silkworms used in its production. Bam. Could be in the Norwegian butter crisis. Oh no. I don't know if I want to know what the butter crisis is. <laughs> I like catastrophe sounds pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> what's the what's the butter crisis? I need to know what the butter crisis is. I'm sorry. I gotta know what the butter crisis means. Norwegian butter crisis with an acute shortage of butter. Oh no. <laughs> Why were they out of butter? Oh, because they were... Okay. Well then, yeah, it's a crisis then. <laughs> That's basically exactly what this is. Oh no. Oopsie daisy. This is why we don't, this is why we manage our exports. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Yeah, crisis is the word we wanted. Crisis. It's just a crisis. Cause that's basically what that was. That's basically like exactly what it was. Not with butter, it's with silk. So it's not as big of a deal, but it's like, oh shit. That's our primary export. Oh fuck. <laughs> Oops. This is why we do not, <laughs> this is why we don't overwork the worms. Do not overwork the worms. Protect, protect worm. Oh, what? Worm. When's the wind was famine? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> damn it. God damn it. No. Where's the Thrasen standard? There you go. Christ. Yeah. Uh, it did eventually. It's not... It, it's never gotten to quite as good as it was at the time. <laughs> it was doing quite well. And then it wasn't. And now it's fine, I guess. I don't know. So yeah, crisis is good. Crisis is a good word for it. Because, like, I, I don't know nothing about economics. So I'm like, I don't remember what this means. Oh, no, I got that one. Yep, so famine is here. It doesn't crash, it doesn't call, it doesn't have a crisis at the start of famine because it's basically, it was only when people started dying that they realized something was up with the silk, which is not the best way to learn that something's up with the silk. But it was basically like, the, the gist of it, to actually explain what the hell I'm talking about, the, the thing with, uh, the Shenho League is that they're basically self-sufficient because they're a, quite a large island and they're not that densely populated so they can support themselves just fine so they don't really have much of a need to import or really export as much it is how I sort of vaguely figured it but one thing that they can export fairly well is silk because they have a lot of silkworms an entire like clan that does a lot of stuff with silk and fabrics. And what happened was at some point between um, Discovery, which is here. So some point between here and here, that's about, I don't know, 150 years thereabouts. Sometime in that 150 year stretch, uh, the clan that was in charge of doing the majority of silk production tried to try and meet demand. People really wanted this silk and it was kind of one of the primary exports of the country so you're like you gotta support the people you know support your country produce the silk and they like overworked their worms and accidentally killed a lot of them and decided oh shit this is bad but we can handle it don't worry we can handle it we will fix this don't tell anyone and so they didn't tell anyone this was happening kept trying to figure it out trying to figure out what they were doing wrong try and recover the population of L of the, the silkworms without make like ruining the production or anything I'm trying to keep up pace it's never gonna go well and basically when the fam when the plague struck <laughs> and killed a bunch of the silk worker elves uh, they had to bring people in from other clans to help pick up the slack and immediately they realized something was wrong. <laughs> And thus, boom. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Things have gone badly. So, they had a good time with that. Um, I'm sure everything worked out fine. 
<laughs> it's fine. <laughs> so it was the silk crisis. But they're like, we really want to produce more silk, but we're killing our worms. And it's like, you stop it. Stop. So they had to just cut it off. Like the other clans, like basically had an intervention. Like all these other five clans came to like the big like monthly meetup or whatever. And we're like, listen, we're worried about you. <laughs> you need to stop drinking. <laughs> this is an intervention. And they just completely cut off silk uh, production and e export overseas. And <laughs> crisis. <laughs> I don't know if any of this makes enough sense in terms of like actual economics, but it functions well enough for me. Like I, I feel like I understand what I've explained. It's recklessness, baby, is hubris. Is the good shit, or the bad shit, rather? It's a fun time. We're all dying of the plague. The worms are dead. Ah, shit. <laughs> Everything has gone wrong. That will be explained in the thing. And then, I don't know. What else would I include in the body? That might really be it for the body. Well, no, because there is another 100 years after that, isn't there? Yeah. There's another 100 years to cover. Not a lot happens in it, but... I don't think there is, anyway. Uh, they're not affected by this much at all. There is some effect of this, and there's technically effect of this, but I've explained that in the sidebar. So the return thing is covered in the sidebar, because that's what this bit is, with Captain Jemmy. That's the return bit. The merfolk have not been covered, which, goddamn, I really need to write the article about the merfolk <laughs> at some point. Oh boy. That's gonna be a, a fun time. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> That's gonna be a nightmare. Uh, do damage to the league's economy. Slowly covered along with its people and it has spent the last few eras in peace and prosperity how about <laughs> I don't finish the body it's fine don't worry about it we don't have to talk about the the merfolk that much because um, I can only discuss them in so much detail when I know very little about them. Which, that's my fault. That's my bad. I'm the one who did that. Okay, now... Now we have this, which I know I'm doing something wrong in. Because it's not supposed to look like that. Or something's busted. Where's my thing? Where have I hidden it? Um... Right. It's supposed to look more akin to story, story, and story. Story is my big dad. It's supposed to look. Oh. Oh, it doesn't work at all. Oh, shit, did I break it? Ah, oh, fuck. When did I break it? Oh, when did I break it? Oh shit, when it, where is it? <laughs> when did I break the CSS for it? Oh no, I broke the container grid CSS. I didn't touch it, did I? Oh. Oh, that's why. Oh. God damn it. Oh, because of some real dumb shit. God damn it. <laughs> Woo! I love CSS. I break it all the time. It's the real good shit. I fixed it, don't worry about it. Literally all that happened is that I had a random dot user CSS with no uh, curly brackets. So it just broke the contain grid, but it's fine. We fixed it. 
If I if I hadn't been able to figure out what was wrong with it, I think I do have a backup. Because um, I got that code off Animal. So, when it, failing anything else, I could have just gone, Hey Animal, where's your fun container? I need it. Uh... <laughs> I need your cool container C C like BB code and CSS, please. <laughs> you gave it to me once. I need it again. Your character's a fisherman on the coast who doesn't believe merfolk are real. I work for Persuasion Seven. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't believe it's real. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, it is just very easy to break. Didn't we have this exactly this problem or similar working on mine? Um, what exactly problem? Which, which problem exactly? Sorry, brain has already surpassed. Oh, uh, convincing other people. Oh, you failed. A merfolk appears behind you. That would be more a crit one. A nat one on that persuasion check would have been a, uh, a merfolk literally just appears from the sand, from the, the ocean behind you. And it's like, eh. Yeah. And to have an anti micro CSS to grab a copy of in case I break it. Yeah, I've got. The only reason I caught it is because, yeah, exactly what Bob said. I have no put plus plus. And I have it just keeping track of it. And that's how I realized it was broken because it, it highlighted it wrong. And I was like, wait, something's wrong. <laughs> yeah, it depends on your modifiers, actually. What's your charisma stat? Uh, did you imbibe any potions beforehand that, in, that increase your charisma stat in any way? Uh, yeah. <laughs> You know, all of these fancy stats. Like, oh god, I played using the um, the Witcher TR TTRPG a uh, couple of the yesterday. Sorry, yeah, yesterday during the the seven hour call, and the modifiers on that are oh big. They are big, big boys. Um, but the reason they're big is because it's a D10, so your modifiers have to be huge. <laughs> To actually have any effect. So like my melee skill you roll a d10 for hitting things. My melee skill, which is added as a modifier, was like 16. <laughs> so if I and if I rolled a 10, it explodes, which means I roll again. So I could get like a 32 on my hit at level one. <laughs> or it wasn't have levels, but like this is like, you know, easy mode, basic character. You can get like a you can get obscene. Uh, hit accuracies. Yeah. This is the Merfolk 12. Uh, the Merfolk probably wins because you're wrestling them in... You have to get into the water to wrestle them. I think. So it would depend. It would depend, I think, on whether you would actually successfully wrestle the Merfolk. Depending on whether you're fighting that Merfolk in the water, home turf, I feel like they would have some advantage of some kind. Or if you manage to drag them onto the beach. If you drag them onto the beach, big butt. I said the ocean. <laughs> okay, then I decided to say the beach. You're right. Okay. So if the merfolk has dragged themselves onto the, onto the sandy beach to attack you, you might have advantage. Roll again. You have advantage. You can roll again. You can re-roll that. Because I don't think a 14 would pass DC. I don't think. I haven't... I, I, these don't have stats. I'm just assuming I don't think it would pass DC. Because it probably has armor on. And it's probably scaled. So, same roll. <laughs> I think that a plus two. Okay. I don't think you succeed. Which is which is pretty pathetic. Because you're fighting basically the equivalent of a fish on land. And you try to wrestle it. And you just... It's just too slippery. You just can't get a grip on it. You just can't. <laughs> Hold on. In that case, you need a d20. For its turn, it... Okay, does the 17 pass your DC? Does the 17 pass your DC day? Bearing in mind you're a fisherman. This is without any modifiers. Does the 17 pass your DC? <laughs> So it's so it passes, so that's a success. The Merfolk slaps you in the face. I'm gonna roll for damage. We're gonna assume it's a d6 for uh, oh no. What's the usual damage roll for punching? What's an unarmed strike in in D&D? 
What's the uh, the dice on an arm strike? D6? Slap in the face? There's probably be a modifier on it, but we'll just assume just a flat D6 for a slap in the face. Fuck. It fell off. Alright, okay, so D4? Okay. My bad. I usually fight with weapons. Or I actually usually do magic spells because I'm a cleric. Most of the time. Uh, D4. That is a 1. You take 1 damage. Uh, did I? You take 1 damage. You have been slapped in the face by a, uh, a fish on land. How does that feel? Take, um, take 1 physical damage and then take 1 mental damage. Like, psychic damage. <laughs> for the for the insult of being slapped by a dying fish. Oh yeah, non-lethal, absolutely. Non-lethal and I'm strike. Sure. And this is this is not this is non-lethal. This is just meant to insult you. Hence one physical damage and one psychic damage. <laughs> Unless you're a monk. Yes. Of course. If you're a monk then you you have insane shenanigans going on with your bandaged hands. They just go poof. But this is just a- this is a- this is like being slapped in the face with a wet fish. <laughs> because it is literally a wet fish, man. <laughs> it slapped you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you've- okay, so you have been successfully convinced that merfolk are real. Uh, your confused friends help the merfolk back into the ocean. <laughs> While you watch. In just utter bewilderment. <laughs> And scene. <laughs> they apologize to the Merfolk now so I can get them dinner. They really just want to go into the ocean now. So, that's where they're going. They, they just wanted to insult you. That's it. That's all they wanted to do. They don't care about food. They're just like, yeah, no. Oh, I can't really make a, a good wet fish noise, unfortunately. Your reputation with the Merfolk is like a negative part. <laughs> You yeah, blown up your seduction roll. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, also I become a witch. <laughs> they actually don't have a good seduction stat in the in the TRPG. Or at least not the basic one. Because they like have the pre-roll characters in uh witchy easy witcher easy mode. And I'm pretty sure because the whole thing with witches is they have a really low empathy stat because of the mutations and shit, right? So they're actually not that great at that kind of stuff, I think. I can actually pull this up. Hold on. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Let me pull up the uh, the witch's uh, doodad. Where is it? RPG sheets. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, so. I think it is literally Lusker. Uh, come on. Yeah. So. Empathy. One. One. A one. They have a one in empathy, which I believe would be the equivalent of the charisma stat. <laughs> you're just not that good at seduction, unfortunately, if you're a witcher. There is a lot of stats. Yes, there is a lot of stats. And there's your skill bases. It's fun. It was fun to play. I'll, I'll make that recommendation. I had a lot of fun playing the, uh, the base module. Fifteen? Which 15? 15 where? There's a lot of... Ah, oh, yeah, 15 stats. Yeah! There's a lot of stats, and there might be more in the full game, I don't know. But I'm just playing easy mode. They even have an ample supply of wet fish for sound effects. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stream derailing is the whole thing. This is just basically chill. This is my two hours to chill out and not do homework without any consequences, like, full on. Like, I've scheduled this, this hack, this mess time. But yeah, so you have a, witches have like a one in empathy. It does vary, but this is the pre-gen character. One in empathy. So I'm pretty sure your seduction kind of sucks. Your intimidation is impeccable, though. Eleven in Tim is pretty good. I think. The main thing with witches is, aside from the fact that Geralt is just, it, it's Geralt who wouldn't want to bang him. Uh, the main thing with witches is that if you succeed, <laughs> if you succeed in, like, you know, if you, if you defeat the, 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 the creature, 
It's not an empathy thing. You're not seducing them. They're just falling in love with you for your actions. It's a different distinction. So you're not really seducing them. They're basically just like, oh, thank you, witches, so much for, you know, like lifting this curse upon my home. Can I repay you in any way? And then they're like, listen, girl, I just want to drop my pants for you. <laughs> it's not really a seduction. It's more just like, wow, you saved my life. I owe you one sort of thing. And also it's Geralt. So, you know, Geralt. He can't be the only witcher getting down and dirty all over, uh, I don't know what the general word is called. You know, general world. All of us Velen and Temeria and Skellige. But he's probably one of the few. I can't imagine most of the witches are, you know, running around getting, you know, shenanigans. Because most of them are a lot uglier than he is. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, in, in to be fair, I the only reason I get to play any TTRPGs is because I'm literally in a club for it. So I'm surrounded by the the lads, just the lads. <laughs> There's a lot of the lads. So they have they have to play the video games with me. <laughs> it's it it's part of the rules. Is that if if they, they, they you know they like they show up at the, uh, the weekly week, and they're like, hey, I, I, I'm gonna do a one-shot, anyone wanna join? I'm like, yes, they can't turn me down. They have to bring me. <laughs> they have to let me in. They can't get rid of me, I give them money. They have to, they have to let me in. <laughs> That's it, I assume they're my friends now because I was here for seven hours, so they're probably friends with me now. Yeah. Of course, I end up running games. Oh, God. And you, you did invite me twice, yes. But that was after I'd started playing with, uh, with, uh, the club. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> oh, freaking phones, they, okay. All right, doing a suck, okay. And then, okay, so maybe it's specifically the wolf school that like to get down. I don't know. It depends on your school, doesn't it? There are many schools. Some of them probably don't have a good time with other people. In fact, I think most of them wouldn't. Ooh, yeah, damn. Oof. I'm doing the world building for a Psycom campaign and they failed. Ugh. That sucks. Some people were just rude on that. It's like, yeah, I'll play, play a video and then it doesn't happen. Is that like the, um, oh god. There was, there was a time when you actually, you invited me to join the, oh god. It was like Firefly, wasn't it? <laughs> like Firefly or Serenity like campaign of that like based on that kind of thing and because I have never seen either the show or the movie I had no idea what was going on but I couldn't I couldn't come unfortunately that that was a shame so I was like yeah I'd totally come in and then it kind of never happened and I was like damn fuck <laughs> foiled again I mean Casco was probably getting down I don't know, okay? Listen, I've only played Witcher 3. I don't know enough about cat school. But maybe it's like cat and wolf school are getting down and then like one of them's real whack. They're probably not having a... Well, they're probably having a good time. No one else that they're with is having a good time. It depends on the school. <laughs> Some of them aren't great. <laughs> Some of them are pretty wild. Oh my god, day. Jesus. Sorry, I'm just I'm remembering Aristocats exists. Jesus. <laughs> I've been reminded. God damn it. Oh, I had a hyper fixation on that movie for like a month at one point. Oh god, I remember the days. That's the only cat that knows where it's at. I don't remember the beat of the song. Yeah. Running one game during lockdown, second game about to restart a local store. Mrs. pushing for a third game with some of her friends want to try it RP. Oh, you're busy. You are busy with RPGs. Nice. I think, uh, at this stage I've done three... Ooh. Hold on. I've done, I've done two one-shots. One for 5e and one for The Witcher easy mode. 
which is the Witcher TRPG, but simplified a little bit. Uh, I've done, I I guess the stuff with Day is technically one shot. So there's that one, which is also five E. And then I'm currently in a campaign, which is just arena combat. But apparently there's a story to it. It hasn't eventualized. We'll figure it out. Ah, the raid. The lemons. The lemons have arrived. Ah, battle stations. Why do I have a weapon? <laughs> Why do I lack a weapon? <laughs> hold on. Wait. Hold on. I have a weapon. One moment. I have a weapon. I have a... <laughs> I'm here to fight the lemons. <laughs> With a $40 electric guitar I bought it at Kmart like seven years ago. Oh god. <laughs> this is the closest thing I have to a weapon. On oh, god. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I can't even play guitar. Rest in peace. At least it's not a clarinet, because that, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, it's an axe. Yeah, sure. Sure. We'll, we'll count it as an axe. Thank you. I'll appreciate counting it as an axe. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow, James Woodwright. But yeah, we'll count that as an axe. That'll do it. It was either that, or if I still have my clarinet, that would have to be the other weapon, because... So I have. Otherwise, I have like cardboard tubes. I am a shay. I am. I am a disappointment to the the warriors of my past. I'm sure that I have them. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you all for dropping by. Uh, this is a very messy stream because we spent most of it talking about whatever shows up. So hey, it's just kind of chill. <laughs> I am supposed to be writing an article, but you know. It's fine. I don't even all yeah. I don't even own five homemade swords. Shake my head. I don't have any like foam or like I have hold on. I have cardboard tubes. I have I don't have long enough wood for a sword is one thing. The wood I have isn't long enough, so I can't make a wooden sword and I also cannot use the electric sword for the life of me. Don't don't question it. I'd have to get someone else to do it, so that's, you know, ugh. I'm gonna go to my goddamn Bunnings and be like, hey. <laughs> hey, Bunnings. <laughs> Cut me a sword from my own wood, please. So, I can't use the wood to make a sword, because it's too big, and I can't cut it myself without having to explain myself to my dad. And that's just, I don't want to have to explain that. And then, I think, I, I can make a hilt with air dry clay. <laughs> <laughs> That's my one equipment. I have like a bunch of weird wire shit and some air dry clay, which could have possibly dried out, but I think it's okay. It's in like a Ziploc bag inside of another Ziploc bag. Inside of a plastic bag. Full of water. It's good. I'm just buying a Nerf gun. I'm just buying a Nerf gun. You're right. You're right. <laughs> That's what I need. I need to just buy a Nerf gun. Or just a foam sword. Yeah, I could just do that. I could absolutely just do that. And I, at some point I feel like I will end up doing that. I would use my birthday money for it, but everyone has insisted, oh no, 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 use your birthday money to buy something nice. Because we couldn't buy you a present this year, so buy yourself something nice. And I'm like, I just want a foam sword. And it's like, no, 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 no. No, you're not allowed to do that with my money. <laughs> you have to buy something else. Damn it. Fuck. <laughs> so I have to like, do something else. I mean, yeah, okay, like seven bucks. Yeah, true. It's just a matter of I have to get it here. And that's, you know. I mean, I can shit. It's not that far, but like. Then I have to explain why I've ordered a foam sword on eBay. Use the money to buy a real sword. <laughs> I actually had a. Oh, God. I had a replica of Aragon's sword in my house for a bit. And for a bit, I mean like three days. Because one of my sisters friends who we're both pretty sure was trying to seduce her bought her a sword and it was it was a it was a life-size replica of Aragorn's sword from Lord of the Rings like the fancy one I think like the one that he got reforged in like Return of the King or whatever it was big I think taller than me and it looked pretty real it was probably a lot of plastic but it was also a big sword. 
and we had it in the house for about three days and then uh, my parents made her take it back and give it back to him because what the fuck? No. <laughs> and I'm disappointed because I wish we still had the sword. But I, it also might have been illegal for us to have the sword. So maybe it's for the best that we don't have a real sword anymore. <laughs> because I think you need a license. It's like, um, we're just not going to deal with it. We're just going to give it back. And so now we don't have his big sword anymore. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> Fuck. We were so close to having a blade. But no. Foiled again by rules and regulations designed to protect the people. Ugh. <laughs> It wasn't, it, like, he spent money on it, is the thing. Like, he didn't buy, like, a 20-buck sword. He bought a sword. Like, it was a, because, like, I'm, like, five foot four, right? Or maybe five three, I don't remember. I'm, like, 163, right? 163 centimeters. I'm pretty sure it was as tall as I am. And I'm pretty sure it was metal. So, it was like, oh, shit. <laughs> we had to, we had to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need a permanent exception. So we're like, get to just throw it at him. Like, ah, shit, take it back. <laughs> take it back, you weird man. Take back your sword. We didn't ask for it. Go away. <laughs> Don't be slacking. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been slacking for an hour. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Moonflower. I, I wasn't trying to brag with my height. <laughs> I can assure you of that. I have never tried to brag by saying I'm five foot four. <laughs> Usually not a bragging height. You have your display stuff plus a collection of camping knives and two hand axes that are cut wood and other stuff. Yeah. You have three wear air rifles and an air pistol. God. That's the other option. It's just doing airsoft. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the dreams. God, I want to go paintballing so bad. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm desperate. <laughs> I'm gonna fire a gun. 163 small. I'm so small. And then Moonflower also small. We're all small. Oh, air sauce is restrict. Oh, okay. Yeah, I figured. Okay, so paintball. I wanna go paintballing then, okay? <laughs> That's allowed. Not now, but like in general. We have paintball. I'm gonna go paintball. At some point. At some point, I will do it. I just didn't do it the one time I was invited because I was in the depths of anxiety. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> and now I just regret it deeply because I should have gone to paintball. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. God. 2017 sucked. <laughs> what a year. Okay. There's an article going on. Okay. So. Yeah. I should have come. I really should have come. I'm, I, I'm still annoyed I didn't come because I really should have, but it was just bad time. I was like, damn it. Yeah. They're like, four shuttle made definitely illegally sharp and vaguely sword-shaped pieces of metal. Hell yeah. Rescue your farmer dwarf. Shut this out. Hell yeah. That's how you do it. It was great. You were crying on the ground for like five minutes. Oh no. But also, yeah. <laughs> that, that's just how it be. That's how it be in paintball. It, I either I need to go paintball or I need to go laser tag again. Because I miss laser tag as well. Laser tag is good. As long as I tape my mouth shut, I can do decently well in laser tag. So, if I do that, <laughs> it'll work. Okay, <laughs> so, the Shanho League is a confederation, right? Yes, it is a confederation. It is made up. Oh, absolutely, of course I will. Of course I'll invite you. I'd have to have enough people to do laser tag. So I need to, I've got you, I've got Day. I could probably invite a couple of the lads from Tabletop. I feel like they would probably come. So that's like, I don't know, like five people. Probably invite Han. Six. <laughs> if I just invite the whole Tabletop Club, <laughs> going 20. <laughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> if I ever do laser tag, I'll figure it out. Oh, hydrate. Drink water and then I'll remember to write articles. Ah, shit. Double hydrate. Boom, boom. Water has been drank. 
So it's Shantan League is a confederation. No, it does not begin. It doesn't begin. Do not, do not, do not. <laughs> of six, made up of six Elven clans. Uh, I'm gonna list them. What order are they in? What order are they in? What order is this? Just put them in like alphabetical. Fuck, alright. God damn it. So it goes. Chuisha. Ah, oh, shit. This is gonna get messy if I try and arrange this, isn't it? So it goes. Oops, shit. Chuisha. Nuotinol. Uh. I don't know. It goes. Oh, okay. So then he's go. Oh shit. What? Shit. Okay. And then it go. But these. This goes before that. Then it's in alphabetical order. Figured it out. Hi, Psyia. Hello. Okay. Now they're in alphabetical, right? Oh shit. What have I done? <laughs> oh no. What have I done? What? Oh, okay. I forgot the container. Okay. So this should fix you. Container story, container story, container story. And then you're missing a container story as well. Because I didn't grab yours from the top. Bang. Okay, that should work. We should have it. Boom. Cool. Interest to cutin. New what's it all? Rubik Lash, you all. Solania shitin. The Walk Crew all. And the Rizaluenza. Okie dokie. We got it. They're in order now. Which means it goes fishermen, livestock, cotton and wheat. Mining, silk weavers, and gay lumberjacks. Okay, so I guess by default I'm working on an old article that I haven't finished yet from March, which I started writing and then didn't finish. It's the Shanhol League. It's basically just um, something loosely based on the um, the Iroquois Confederacy, or the Haudenosaunee, rather, but I have to use both words, otherwise no one knows what I'm talking about. Because <laughs> I like to use the proper names, but no one knows them, so I have to use the one that's not as proper. I'm like, damn it! <laughs> so would I... hold on, so would I put that... I had to put the whole... yeah. Okay, so that needs a... B... B... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Get in. Nuotino Reclashu <laughs> Oh no Oh Jesus Sulanya Shutin <laughs> Oh it goes Ruzuenza first. What am I doing? Oh you fools. The alphabet The alphabet goes that way. Boom. Alright. The Rizuenza. And the walk. Furry wall. I should know where to go. But it would just be because that is there. The Jewish Sekutin, the Watano, the Wakbuk, whatever, whatever. And the rock wall. Okay. So da 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 da. These plans come together. Was it once or. Oh, shit. Where's my notes? <laughs> where are my notes? One second. Notebook. Notebook. I have a notebook. It's full of things. Okay. Notebook. It is under here, I think. Kikuki Valley Island. Okay, I think it's in here. <laughs> oh no. Oh Jesus. Okay. Where was the thing about the when they meet? When did they do the thing? When's the bang when's when's the the moon bang? When is the 
Months? Uh, shit. When do they meet? <laughs> When's your conference? Wait, ooh, bus check, bus check. I'm trying. <laughs> when did they meet up? Uh, uh, I'm sh I'm positive I wrote down when they meet up. When? D when why did I not write that down? What? It's not in here either. Did I put it in the Discord? Where did I put it? <laughs> gonna be it not even close god damn it why do my notes disappear like this i hate it damn it okay i think it was like we like the i either meet up once a month or like once every two months i do not recall uh i guess this makes sense that's not too far. It's like a day's travel, most, for like the Twisha, specifically. Because of where they're located. It's like, I don't know, it's like a month. That basically works, but you could probably spread it out. Uh, oh, well. Okay, I said it's two separate things. <laughs> because then like, there's the monthly meetup, and then there's like leadership shit, which is more of an ongoing thing. I feel like, since they're now a single country, they kind of have to work together on a more frequent basis than once a month, I guess. I don't know. They probably could get by with just once a month. Like, for a week. Because like, a week long, it was a week long thing. So that's why I said it was once every two, wasn't it? The leaders of each clan meet up regularly in a specially designed building in the center of the island to negotiate <laughs> negotiate deals and form consensuses on international affairs. Uh, outside of these meetings and the the week long Festival held every two months. And two. The clans and their territories act almost like separate countries. Right, I think that basically works. As a vague description of that confederation set up is that, you know, like they meet up. They meet up often to discuss shit, but other than that, they're basically separate countries, which is kind of how a confederation tends to work. You know, like, the Holy Roman Empire and shit, you know? It's basically just like 20 countries, like, well, it's like 100 countries in a trench coat, pretending to be a single country. It's like, ha 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 ha, what? <laughs> no. Stop lying to me, Germany. Oops, it broke again. Damn it! Why do I keep breaking it? I'm supposed to be good at this. Stop forgetting to take the container. Damn it. There ah. we go. Now it should be fixed. It should be completely fine now. Please? What? But you're in a container now! What? God damn it. Fix it. Fix it. There we go. God. 
I don't use fancy BB code for anyway. Just a fucking column. Uh, yeah. And then it's the description of each of the clans separately. Which is a whole other thing. Oh god. Oh no. The, the nightmare begins. So, if I put it in order, that'd make it a little bit easier for me. Uh, Tweedish, no. Yes. Blah. And Rizzle. Okay. So it's. Fishers, livestock, cotton, miners, lumberjacks, and silk farmers. Okay. I'm not gonna go into that much detail, surely, but now that I've made them all fancy, it feels like I kind of have to at least give them like a paragraph. Which isn't that much, but it's still like you know, a paragraph. Uh, which check you in? They are the youngest of the six clans. The tree. No. <laughs> Hold the lands outside of the Nolan Kayet Valley. They are predominantly fishers and what else would they be if they're fisher people? They can't just be fishers, right? Like even though that's what I've roughly assigned them as, they have to be more than just fishing people. There's gotta be more to the ocean than fishing. Right? Uh, I mentioned the fish thing, right? Oh, I can't with the fish thing afterwards. Right, 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 because I assumed, oh yeah, they'd definitely be fish people. As in like people who fish, not the fish, not the other fish people. That's a different thing. That's the merfolk. The other fish people. Uh. Like, I think before that I basically just had the silk people, the lumberjacks, and I think a livestock and a thing. So I came up with the mining and the fish people afterwards. Because that felt important to have. Uh, hmm. That's a different thing. That comes up more in the ethnicity article, which I haven't written yet. Because... Uh, articles. How do you summarize that shit? Who knows? <laughs> Y'all, we got like six fucking silkworms and everyone went wild. God damn. And what a time to be alive. And do these fish people also slap people in the face without believing? I feel like they would. I feel like they would. I feel like most people would. <laughs> Now believe me, I slap you in the face with the fish. That is not the noise. Ugh. I'm not a noise person. <laughs> I do not make the funny the funny noises the right way. Yes, whap them. Oh, there's the cotton. Uh Alright then. No one has been slapped enough. <laughs> God damn it. Penance for being sleep for slapping. I have to keep drinking water. God damn it. <laughs> So they are predominantly fishers and sailors, right? Sailors would be the word. Only fishers and sailors. And yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Yes, all right, sure. I'm just keep drinking water until I eventually become a fish. Okay. The most contact with outside, with the other fish people. How 
How long is that? Not long, is it? I mean, it's not that bad. That's a decent size. It does feel like I need to be centered, though, doesn't it? That demands to be centered. Which, oh god, it continues. The code. We'll center it at the end. We'll center it at the end. Don't worry about it. Hmm? And these are the livestock farmers, the new all. So, we will put in all one of the. Wait, hold on. Were they all founders? They all founded it, didn't they? I read my own article at any point. Yeah, okay, so they all founded it. Yeah, they all founded it. So they're all founding nations. There's no, you know, later, later on editions of anything. They're all equal within that. That said, the, hmm. Hmm. The like age hierarchy. So they've basically all been there for a while, but the assumption is probably that the Wizard of Ensa are probably the second youngest, just because of how their particular situation is kind of weird. So they kind of have to come on after the fact in some way, before the Tweesha, but after the other four. And then possibly the Wokrawal are the next youngest? Or possibly the Rikla? No, nope. the Sudan. So the... Pro... So, uh, I feel like probably the Nuatana are probably the oldest ones. <laughs> Based on my understanding of anything. They're probably the oldest of the clans because they probably brought their animals with them. They you are. Know. Possibly the oldest of the six, six clans. And hold territory in the in the where? In the which part of the where? Shit. <laughs> God damn it. Uh oh god. I feel like I need to remap that. Goddamn weird donut. So like this area is like mostly the Tweesha, I guess like really they surround the donut, but mostly they have like this bit here in the in the east. West even, that's the west. Oopsies. The west area, southwest. And then I don't know, I guess they're just kinda just kinda in there somewhere. I think this might actually need a rework. This is kind of weird. I feel like the valley should be more of the island at that, since that's kind of the whole point. God damn it. Alright. I'm gonna make a note. I'm gonna pull out my entire notebook and make a note. And then I will forget it. God damn it, we gotta keep redoing this shit. You do. No one cut it. God damn it. Biography. Big valley. Bigger. Big. I've drawn a map. <laughs> God damn it. My, my diagrams are fantastic. It's fine, don't worry about it. Uh, we'll say, well, Hmm, what will we say indeed? Maps are hard. Maps are hard. Where's my map? Fuck. <laughs> Where's my map folder? Biomes, because it was coming from that way. So it's probably... I don't know nothing about nothing. Let's just say the east side and move on. <laughs> Let's just say in the eastern part. The eastern part of uh, the valley.
They are predominantly coders and livestock farm. That means the same thing. Those mean exactly the same thing. If you're a herder, you're presumably farming livestock, right? Herders and hunters? Herders and hunters. Hunters. Producing most of the non fish meat in the league. Go back. Oh, basically, it's going alright. Yeah! Possibly the oldest, whole territory, they might as well be herders and hunters. And they probably move around a bunch, but it's fine, don't worry about it. Territory is a loose meaning and it means nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, the Riklash are the cotton and wheat, so they don't move around anyway. Uh, da -da -da. Riklash. Who you all? Fairly old clan and old territory in the north. 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 The north of the. Yeah, because the way the sun. Yeah, they want to go in the north, I think, for uh, cotton farming. It makes sense to me. I'll pretend it will make sense. Don't worry about it. Don't ask me about geography. We don't. We don't question it. Uh, in the north of the known Kayet Valley. That was called the Valley. Now you mentioned it as Noman Kayet in the second Minotsky, Michigan. Um, they mostly deal in. Would it just be agriculture? Would it just be agriculture? The definition of agriculture? God damn it! What's between plants and livestock? Damn it, but I want... <laughs> I want just plants! <laughs> I want just plants. Is it just farming? Growing... God damn it. Okay, they just grow crops. You see, deal with growing crops such as cotton and wheat. And make the best bread in the league. Make good bread. Make good bread. That looks shorter. It is. It's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's fine. I can expand it later. Okay. Uh, the Sulan, the Ashutin, are one of the younger Shanho clans and hold territory in the mountains around the valley, especially east and south and north. They are miners and metal stone workers and craft stunning jewelry. I'm spelling the word jewelry wrong. Okay. Jewelry is a hard word to spell. Damn it! No, I have to expand the record. What else did they do? They must deal with growing crops like cotton and wheat, and they bake the breast bread. There has to be more to it than that, right? North of the valley. It wouldn't be capital valley either. I want you. Lowercase v. Lowercase v. What else do the Riklashual do? Growing crops. Uh, we're still growing crops. Are there any other specific crops that they're putting there? Well, they just cotton wheat. They were in my notes at the moment. Uh, 
genetic uh, so fruits and vegetables. As well as apples and uh, many orchids. A big rest. Actually, I will say they make the best bread and wine in. Okay, please be the correct length. Woo! Got him. Got him. Okay, and then it's Wizroenza. We do not hold any specific. Young-ish when the Wizro and Sa are semi-nomadic, roaming in the Wintayet Valley. On a rotational basis, they are lumberjacks, jackers, and carpenters. Carpenters and architects are often often fulfill handy handyman. Is there is there a gender neutral word for handyman? God damn it! Fuck. I have a definition in every single time. Odd job. Odd job. Knock up. Ah, that's that's a very these have those have very different connotations, y'all. <laughs> that is not a handyman. That is something completely different, right? That is not a handyman. <laughs> a knock up hat isn't a handyman. What are you talking about? Yes, odd jobber. Yeah, I guess odd jobber. It's a bit weird, but it it gets the point across. So you know, often do odd jobs for the clans whose clans they pass through. Gay lumberjacks. Boom. <laughs> And then Silky Boy Silky Silky Boys Evil Do all oh, wrong wrong bottle stop old clan found mostly in the West Valley. They are silk farmers and weavers, crafting many of the more extravagant clothes found throughout the league. The they are responsible for the <laughs> responsible for the silk. Rough shit. <laughs> Feels a bit mean to bring up that they were responsible for the crisis because none of the other clans have any similar kind of events. It's basically just them. Everyone else is like, oh, you know, we're semi nomadic and we do these things. And the rocker are all like, yeah, we live here and we do this. And also, we did this one big thing. It's like, oh, Jesus, all right. <laughs> Oops. Big whoop. Whoopsie doozy. Whoopsie daisy. Do not, do not discuss. <laughs> They're not fans of discussing that one. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. Predominantly sheep and chickens of a kind. <laughs> okay. You can delete that anyway, don't worry about it. We don't need it. Because then, there's the flag. But then there's up here the silk crisis, the sidebar bit, 
where I get to talk about how they killed all their silkworms. Uh, one of the Xian Hall League's primary exports during its early years was. Yeah, Xian Hall Silk. Shanho silk cultivated by the Wakuo clan and that god damn it wrong glottal stop I'm still in the semi-germanic mode I forgot uh Rockwell clan and their many silkworms this silk was renowned for it. Did I describe it in the body of the article? I did. Maybe I should just move... Move that from there to there, maybe? I feel like that. I have to edit that entire one, but I feel like that part of that paragraph is kind of basically the what I would describe. So I'm gonna go, eh, I'm gonna go. edit. This <laughs> screams edit, edit it. Is that a worse sentence than... No, I think it's fine. The most common exports at the time was so-called Shanhol Silk, which was cultivated primarily by the Wakuro clan and dyed in many vibrant colours. It was... It was... Uh, it was renowned for its quality and magical... Uh, at this time mm. uh, during the early years of the Shanhol League the so called uh, this was cultivated primarily by uh, and was renowned for its quality and magical properties um I need magical properties. Many nobles from across the continent flocked to the league for its silk. And the rock who all quickly rose to meet the demand. This, in this increase in supply came at a significant cost. Measures in place to protect the health of the silk worms were not followed due to the time and costs associated and slowly the silkworm population began to decrease this was covered up by the clan for many years once it was Realize. Um, once the clan realized what was happening, they scrambled to cover it up while they tried to solve the issue.
Insulting. Yeah. Solve the issue. I think this thing covered up. Well, they have solved the issue. Projecting and an image of endless prosperity to their customers. Uh, how long is this so far? Uh, maybe I don't need that card up. Let's kind of what they're doing. The issue! The cover up was discovered during the era of famine. As many silk workers caught the plague and had to be replaced with temporarily with members of the of the Clash You All Clash You All clan. They swiftly realized something was amiss and reported it to the clan chief. And silk exports were abruptly banned by the council to allow for the Wokru all to God damn it, how do I keep fucking up that? The Wokru all to fix their mistake. The clans are still sore about the economic results of this decision and the cultural backlash to the clan plan is plan is still sore by the economic and cultural backlash and the backlash to backlash to their handling of it okay it's a bit it's a bit long Hmm, maybe it should have stayed in the bit. Maybe it should have stayed in the bit. Because then that way it's in the body of the article because then I don't have to edit it <laughs> as much as I do that I might have some editing. Ew. Editing is gross. And that way I they could discuss their export. to be roughly even. Famine. Uh, they recorded the low silk farm amount to their claim cheap. Well, that's not really good. Rewording a single sentence is not going to bring that up. Put that back. Put that back. Uh, reporting it to their thing. Yeah. Uh, banned by council to allow to fix their mistake. Really rude, like two words. <laughs> God damn it, editing sucks. I'm not a writer. Hmm. Hmm. Boop, 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 Hmm? 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 Fucking 
saves. Jesus. <laughs> Gave me a goddamn heart attack. So refreshed too early. It goes. And you don't rub the fact you have snacks in my face. That said, I have like six minutes until I can go get snacks. So. <laughs> as soon as the stream ends, I'm having a bowl of chips. Because I feel like chips is the order of the day now. Ah, yes, there's a whole flag section down here. I forgot about. You know, they got motivation to do it. Yeah. I didn't even notice the video had been frozen for over five minutes. Oh no! Because nothing changes. <laughs> nothing changes. It's me slowly, slowly, slowly going. And going, hmm, 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 hmm. Just me doing that the whole time. And I make words happen. It's been terrible, not even one. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't have anything to talk about. But now I've done the body of the article. So basically the only part of it that's left, aside from editing, because I think, because I wrote most of this back in May, it probably needs to be edited. And by probably I mean it does, aside from this bit <laughs> here, obviously. Um, the other part is the flag. Which is awkward, because I don't actually remember what it means. I know it had meaning when I made it. I think the green circle was the valley. The background was the ocean. And the white was... How many points does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, why does it have 13 points? What the fuck does 13 mean? What? What does that stand for? Oh. Flags. Jesus. This is why I just explained them. Why didn't I write it down? Because <laughs> it had a meaning. I know it had a meaning. But what the fuck does it mean? Ugh. That's not gonna be in here, is it? Oh, wait. Ooh. Hold on. No, it's not gonna be on that list. That is an old list. Ah, shit. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, it won't be on that list. Suffice it to say, it will not be on that list. Um. Shit. It means open it. Um. Hmm. Yeah, because I didn't write it down. Because I keep making cool flags, I'm like, yeah, this flag looks neat, and then I don't write down what it's supposed to mean. Which is awkward, because I have a lot of flags. <laughs> yeah. Two points for every clan, and then one extra for good luck. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 I remember now. I remember now. It's 13 for, like, the gods. That's what it is. It's 13 for the gods. Because there's the mother, which is one. Then there's the four... Ah, oh, shit. I changed them around at some point, so I don't remember what the file they're called. Uh, there's the four, like, big aspects. Um, so there's the mother, then there's justice, uh, knowledge, charity, and... Fuck. <laughs> no. Yep, so singularities. Justin, wisdom, balance, and charity. And then there's eight more, which is vengeance, mercy, knowledge, experience, structure change, and independent solidarity. So there's 13 in total. Technically, depending on how you count, because technically there's only one, because they're all the mother, but don't worry about it, there's 13 of them. That's what it was. So it's the gods. 13 for the gods, because the name... No and Kayet literally means like paradise or some shit. I wrote it down. I wrote that down. I know I wrote that down. Wrong dictionary. God damn it. Fuck. Wrong dictionary. Here we go. Send me the dictionary for Vale. It's in here somewhere. It's on my destruct destuck disgusting and disused uh here it is. Here you go. Home. Uh, but it means da -da 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 -da, the guarded paradise with the vibe being that it's guarded by the gods, I think. 
I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I'm about 80% sure that that's what I was going for. So it's green circle, the valley, the dark ass blue background, the ocean, fuck it's spooky, <laughs> the white star, the mountains, and also the 13 divinities who are like big cool and guard the paradise that is no and guy it boom okay <laughs> we got it i figured it out <laughs> glad that's one of the flags that i do at least vaguely remember the meaning of because there's a couple that i don't because i never had meaning to begin with I'm like what the fuck does it mean ah, ah. <laughs> Flags are hard. Flags are hard. Dark ass. I'm, I feel like dark ass has to be a, a, a name of a color, right? Like if I go like dark ass color, right? No, God. No. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Bruce purple it is. <laughs> Fucking Google searches. Damn it. I'm being, I'm being destroyed at every turn. I'm not trying to be NSFW, I'm just suffering. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> it is a really weird blue. I, I don't know why I picked that blue specifically, which is why I said, should I check the colors though? Um, <laughs> so I was thinking maybe changing it to just black <laughs> or a regular blue. But uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's... That's something else to do. <laughs> uh, I'm a failure. Oh god. I still need to... Uh, I still need to do all the maps. Ugh. Like, some of these have meaning. Like, this has meaning, I guess. This does. This does. This does not! <laughs> Neither does this. Also, it's missing one. No, it's not missing one. That's the old one, isn't it? Oh my god. Yeah, the other one. <laughs> There's three flags based with a single thing, and this doesn't mean anything. I'm like, what does it mean? There are literally two other flags that pick that. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's either the green... I think it's just the level of contrast. I think that either... The, the I think the blue needs to be changed to either a flat black or to a different shade of blue. Because like you can see that there's I've used a fairly bright blue for others and it didn't work. There's another like teal that wouldn't work either. But I think I have another country that uses a navy blue. I do, don't I? Yes. Scar who? Come on, fucking piece of shit. Hey, Scar who? Let me in. God damn it. Yeah. So like Scar Who has a nice dark blue. Not quite navy, but it is a dark blue. So I think step one would be try and change the color, because it is a weird blue. I don't think that blue really works. So I'll check I'll check I'll try it as a light blue. The dark the light blue of like these guys. Not that guy. But like these guys, then the dark blue of these guys. And then why is something to oh no, it takes long. And then maybe change the green. I do really want to have a nice green though. Failing that, I do have. Oh, there's another green somewhere in here. Shit, where's the other green? I've uploaded the dirt solo flag, haven't I? That's a. Uh, that's a. Uh, where's your flag? Where have you put it? Why aren't you loading? Oh, it's because Scar who's in the background. Shit. <laughs> That's not the right green. It's technically got a filter on it, but there is a different... I have a other shade of green floating around that might be better. It might actually be the same... No, it's different green, I think. Oh no, I think... Yeah. Okay, yeah, well... I don't... The current blue, I think, is too dark, because at a distance it's going to look like it's, the... it's black. And that is, I think that was deliberate. 
And that was the point at the time. Because they, the people of the Shanho League, really don't like the ocean. They're not fans of it. They called it the end of the world. They're not cool with the ocean. So I think it was a deliberate choice, but I feel like it would work better as either being black or a dark blue. And so going all the way to black, I have to change the green. So if I take the dark blue to black, the green will be changed to a slightly different shade of green, I think. If I bring it up to the same blue as Scarhu, which I had to close because it was slowing down my browser, um, then the green might be able to stay or be very slightly tweaked. I think I can work with it. It shouldn't be too difficult because I still have all the, uh, the illustrator files for it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> God, he's some fucked up flags. <laughs> God, there's so many flags in here that are just kind of messed. It's fucking great. I love Illustrator. It's not Illustrator, it's Inkscape. Anyway. <laughs> I'll deal with that on stream. That's an off stream thing. The idea is that I don't want to be working on this on Saturday. I'll have something else to do on Saturday, which I don't know what. Hold on, let me, let me see if I can figure out what I'm going to do on Saturday before I finish stream, because it is 12.05 and Bob is up. So we'll be raiding Bob in a second. I just want to see what other, sorry, that's the wrong one, what other unfinished articles I have lying around. So, um, so there's these two, Key Cool Dust and Shenho League. Haven't finished them just yet, but I will soon. D damn it, this doesn't fit. <laughs> Dimmy, I want to be able to see more of them. I think I know which one is next. I think it's this one. Yeah, okay. So I think next stream on Saturday, I'll work on the Carved Mountain, which... <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> oh Jesus, okay. I, I, we'll work on this one, I guess. <laughs> I'll have it cleaned up so it doesn't say explain what a bitch did. Oh no. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Maybe. Don't. Something will happen. Something will happen on Saturday. <laughs> Oof. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm a mess. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So, it is 12.07. I have run seven minutes over time. Oh no. Whatever will I do? But, that means that my stream time is over because I'd like to go eat some chips because I'm hungry. Even though it's midnight. I want to eat food. I need food. So, we're going to be raiding RPG Dinosaur Bob who has been live for seven minutes and has been waiting patiently for us to arrive. <laughs> so, thank you all very much for coming. I hope that you had some fun with... I don't even know what happened. I've forgotten what we've done already. We, we, we wrote an article about some elves. We talked about RPGs for a bit, which I'm not good at them, so that was an interesting discussion. <laughs> Based on my lack of knowledge. But yeah, so I hope that you all had a lovely time. That you, you know, got things done if you're trying to get things done, or if you, know, you just chilled out, you know, chilling out, also good. You got all your coffee, you got all your naps, it's all good. Oh, and hydrate for the road. Hydrate for the road. That's four. Jesus. That's a lot of water. <laughs> so, thank you all for coming. I hope you had a good time. I still haven't figured out a raid call, but you can use channel points to, to get the raid emote. <laughs> you can go throw some fiery toast <laughs> in Bob's channel. So thank you all for coming. Uh, we're gonna raid Bob. Have fun, everybody. Bye.